Now the time for like the hardest mission in existence. I'm sorry, we're just looking for something with a little more uh, mass appeal. What could have more mass appeal than a song like Small but Perfectly Formed? Women want me. Men want to be like me. Assholes. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be right. kidding me, right? Damn. This casino game is hard work. I thought it was just a case of opening the doors and letting suckers give you their money. If only. You know what? I'm getting bored here. I'm trying to do business, not audition midgets. People of reduced stature, you mean? Yeah, yeah, I said that. All I know is when are we gonna get some real talent in here? I heard that. Mad Dog, CJ. You clean, dude. That's good news, man. Hey, what's cracking? You ready to take it to the stage again? Easy, CJ. Come on, man. One step at a time, you know? I'm almost ready, but... But what? I want to go home now, CJ. That's cool, man. I'll take you. Where's home? My mansion, baby. Yeah, I heard about that place. Drugs, sex, all that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Yeah, but... yeah, I've been there. I, uh, I mean, I've seen it on TV. Yeah, nice crib. Thanks, player. We could do with a place like that to set up in the LS again. Wait for sweet. Mmm. Get things moving. Get out this midget game. But CJ, come on, man. What? I saved your life, man. My mansion ain't big enough. Only got 19 bedrooms, you heard? All right, man. My mansion's been seized. IRS? Nah, not exactly. Who? Nobody. Who, man, dog? All right, Big Papa. Big Papa? The drug dealer? Man, you got your multi-million dollar mansion to a motherfucking pusher? You know, CJ, these things happen. I was powerless. You fucking degenerate? Oh, man. How much blow can one guy snort? It's not my fault, CJ. Man, I should have let you jump. Come with me, all of you. We all going home. You ever jumped before? Hello? Hey, what's up, Carl? Hey, Kendall, what's up? Nothing, just thought I'd wish you luck. We're gonna drive back to uh, San Fierro first. Just wanna check things out there before we hook up with you guys in Los Santos. All right, cool. You be careful. I'll be fine. I got Caesar and Mad Dog to keep me safe. You be careful. Oh, I will. I'll see you in Los Santos. Me and you gonna go in to clear the place out. Good idea. The element of surprise. So the rest of the crew can move in in peace. Can easily hear that they stopped CJ's dialogue so that guy could talk and then continued it. <clears throat> or cut his dialogue, I mean. It's time to go. It's time to get up to a hundred deaths.
What's up, Daniel? What's going on? Also, thanks for the follow, whoever followed. It's like the first time since my return of seeing a crook dog in the corner of the screen. Do 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 do. Just woke up two hours ago. What about me? I was doing like the hardest missions in the OHKO and struggling. Actually, they don't shoot at you, do they? Alright, hopefully, no shoot arena. I forgot, I don't think those guys even shoot at you. If you get here quick enough. Forgot the Hitman outfit. I didn't forget about it. I said I was gonna get it when we do RTLS. That'd be uh, after Vertical Bird. <clears throat> yeah, we've already done that. In the past week, we have to kill these guys anyway because we can't drop down, otherwise, we die. This all you giving me. <sighs> all right, this is it, this is the end. We're heavily outnumbered, but if we all keep our heads, we should kick ass. Let's hit em. Oh, my God, you really get in my way like that. You really gonna do me like that, my dude? Uh, the most I've died on was the Ning thing. So far. CJ, clear the corridor and we'll clear each room. Clear. Oh wait, they can clear it. What the hell? <gasps> no, dude! I think they might not infinitely spawn if he can clear everything, but yeah. Die, motherfuckers. None of you are leaving his house alive. Unfortunately, that's uh. Yep. Wasted. <laughs> I guess he died. I don't know, dude. I don't know what happened there. Bye, bye, head of a teammate. I mean, they get in your way, that's the problem. That's the whole problem, they just get in your way, like, at all times. I mean, I gotta protect myself, and they're just, like, walking into my shots. Like, come on now. You ever jumped before? Nah, you? Nah. When we land, we're gonna feel invincible. I am invincible! Hey, wait up! I didn't think about that though, they could clear every room like legitimately, but I don't know if I could keep them alive long enough for them to do that. Cause you know, I killed the first guy, that was my fault, but the second guy got killed by them, so... Stop because you're missing two packages? Dang. It's tough when you're uh, missing collectibles. Let's see if we're correct about this. Yeah, they don't shoot you. You get here quick enough. <laughs> were you doing it on? Were you doing it on PC or what? Cause uh, I'm uploading these videos, well these streams, I guess, to YouTube, and 
<clears throat> Eventually, when one of the videos uploads, I'm gonna have a San Andreas. Actually, I don't know if it works for any game. I didn't think about that, but uh, at least for people who are struggling with San Andreas, for sure. You can actually read your save file and uh, see which ones you're missing. Might not actually work for other GTAs, I didn't really think about that. I don't think I killed the guy. Alright, he died. Let's see if we can actually get them to clear the rooms. It's already doing a very bad job. Like not even clearing the first room. <laughs> I think he died already. Who are you to break into this place, eh? Oh my god, it happened again. He just randomly stood up at like the wrong time. Maybe I can clear the rooms myself, that'd be cool. That'd be something, you know? Ain't nobody gonna hear from you again. Die, Denise. Oh. Dang it. Wasted! <laughs> Never had any luck going slowly here, yeah. I don't usually do that, but I thought it would be worth a try. Well, what's up, Taduva? Uh, you don't want to use grenades, that's a bad idea. The rooms are too small to be using grenades. You just have to go really, really fast. And know exactly where the enemies are going to be when you travel through the hallway. But the problem is, is that they infinitely spawn unless those rooms get cleared. And seeing as the triads aren't very good at doing that, the rooms never get cleared so those guys infinitely spawn so rockets don't help either. The minigun is the best weapon anyway. See, we still have satchels. Might be useful, actually. Probably not. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error figuring out how to get through this area. Am I on more than 25 FPS? No, we. It's vanilla. Hell no. <laughs> the vanilla OHKO. Yeah, if the triad guy has respawned and actually cleared the rooms, this would be a lot easier. The main reason why this mission is hard is because those guys infinitely respawn. Otherwise, I don't think this mission would be nearly as hard. If, like, hard at all. Let's hit 
So we're just gonna have to immediately start going fast. Oh my god. Wasted! I didn't mean to slide forward. I was trying to stop, but uh, I'm not as good at sliding as Taduba is, because uh, you actually have to let go of the key to back up. I was holding a. Uh, I was holding backwards, which made me go forward. Yeah, you just slide really quickly, get to that staircase, and then try to kill everyone below, like on the balcony, as quickly as possible. And then the rest is pretty easy, like, you don't really have to go fast, you can just peek around corners and kill the rest of the people. Just the very beginning is hard because you have to, like, pretty much put yourself out there. <clears throat> but yeah, when you sit on that staircase, seeing as you're not like really killing all the enemies, they can actually come up behind you and shoot you in the back. And on top of that, the people below the staircase can also shoot you because you have no cover. And on top of that, enemies also come around corners and try to go up the staircase as well. So you pretty much have like every single enemy, like you have enemies coming at you from all angles once you get on that staircase. That's actually the hardest part. Oh, you do use grenades? What the? Well, yeah, I was gonna. That's why I checked to, if I had satchels actually. To satchel the guys at the bottom of the staircase. The only problem. I don't know why I'm sliding. The only problem is that you have to stand up to use them, so. Kind of risk getting killed in the process. So I guess grenades would be kind of a better option. Since you don't have to wait to uh, detonate and all that. that spawns right here eventually. There he is. I don't know. I don't know if that's an enemy. Guy right. Two guys right here. Alright, I already killed that guy. There's a guy right here that you should already know about. Just being like super safe. I could have just slid into that guy, but... You don't know who you're fucking with, do you? Don't feel like taking that chance, honestly. It's hard enough to get this far. You trying to fuck with my house? With my shit? Where's this guy? This guy. Is that it? Let's kill all these guys to get them out of the way. They're kind of in the way. There should be two guys right here. Or one guy, this guy right here. And then there's a guy like right here that can potentially shoot you. Uh, so these these are the last two guys right here. 
There we go. That was actually a lot easier than it usually is. It's surprising. I didn't actually take that long at all. <clears throat> and we uh, didn't reach 100 deaths on this mission like I thought we would. Surprising is all I can really say about that. You have taken back Mad Dog's Mansion. What was that, two tries? Three tries? Yeah, three tries because I tried to do the clear strat. Four maybe? I don't know. Can't remember. Definitely save after that, you know. It's pretty important. <laughs> don't want to be doing that again. Vertical bird. Will you please leave yourself alone? Come on. Here? Come on. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, you mank mongrel. Oh, sonny bitch. You shouldn't be choking the gecko in the first place. Remember what happened to that gig in Amber? That groupie moved it. That wasn't a groupie. That was a roadie. But she had great tits. Man tits. They were man tits. Hey, what happened? Hey, what the sound's that? I don't know, bruv. It all just went. You fucking shite, you are, P. I can't be held responsible for dodgy gear, all right? Come on, keep it together, man. You can't fuck with us, bloke. Finally, I thought I'd never get through to you. What the? What's Serena, this? is that you? What's happening here? Torino? Listen, you gotta pull one last string. Hold up, right, okay? look, hold up, one second. Communists at the gate, Carl. I'm tired of this, Torino. I'm outside. Let's take a ride. Now I'm eating things. Fuck me. Oh, I'm hey, I gotta get out of here. You got this? Hey, dog. I gotta go hit a marketing meeting. I'm gonna catch you later. All right, morning. Go, sunshine. My heart. Yeah, oh, sweet as. Right. Right. Come on. You having that, Mac? You having that? I'm a guy. Well, no invite to the housewarming, huh, kid? I knew you'd come anyway. Yeah, well, that's unimportant right now. I'll bring you up to speed on the way. Get in. Also, shout-outs to Taduva again for, uh... the death counter script thingy. So that we don't have to keep track of ourselves. How long is this gonna take? I got my own shit to worry about. Would you like to see your brother this week? Yeah, what can I do? You just gotta steal a military jet off an amphibious assault ship and use it to destroy a flotilla of spy ships. Nothing big. Oh man, you shit. When I shit you, Carl, there's a boat. All the gear you'll need is on board. I'll keep you briefed. <laughs> there's as you a know. boat. I ain't coming back from this one, am I? Yes, you are. Don't be ridiculous. Here, take this earpiece. Trust me, do as I say. You'll be home for a blowjob and a baloney sandwich. Hmm. <laughs> Just remembered uh, some of the oysters we didn't grab earlier because Storm was like, you should grab these on Vertical Bird, but uh, yeah. Hopefully Vertical Bird isn't like a problem because otherwise we're going to be grabbing these same oysters every single time we restart the mission. I could have just done the zero star glitch and got them probably. That would have probably been a better idea. Before the boat closes and mission fails. Though I think you have to get near the boat for it to even open, so... Shouldn't start till right now-ish. I still didn't trigger it. Oof. 
kind of in the middle of doing that. 44 oysters. Yep, no wanted level for this mission. You want to go into this area without the boat, otherwise every single enemy gets aggroed. Super accurate as well. Probably just going to disable the Sams just for the memes. They do, but uh, their accuracy isn't as good as if you came in with the boat. And on top of that, they start shooting you before you even get out of the water. So yeah, I've had enough runs uh, die to that, to tell you that is actually a thing. And unfortunately, if the boat comes with you as you're swimming in, they also get aggroed, which is kind of annoying. So you gotta make sure that boat doesn't follow you in. Actually gonna have to destroy these with the jet because <clears throat> there is a chance that we get killed by a jet. I don't like those chances. How do I shoot? There we go. Still gonna destroy the boat with the minigun though, because that's the easiest way for me to do it anyway. So it is way too annoying trying to shoot these boats with the Hydra. So I want those other Hydras trying to shoot me. And do a little like speck of damage that kills me. Referring to driving with the boat in? Oh, does the boat not despawn if you drive with it in? Is that what happens? That would make sense. This kind of sucks that the enemy is also still aggro to you there. Super fast car. <laughs> yeah, once you get the Hydra, you're good. Hard part is getting to the Hydra, really. Which isn't really that hard, honestly. As long as you don't uh, get spotted early or anything like that. Oh, we don't need to go to Torino's because uh, we already got infinite minigun. So 
So I don't know, do we do zero missions now? I guess I guess we could do that. Um, if it follows you in, they get out aggroed, uh, whether you're in the boat or not. <laughs> so yeah, you don't actually even have to be in the boat, it just has to follow you in. But yeah, they'll notice you um, in the water even if you get out before the cutscene and swim there. Unfortunately, that's what the answer this anyway. You stupid, backstabbing piece of eggplant shit. Salvatore, nice to hear from you too. You're dead. Your friends are dead. Your family's dead. I'm gonna fuck you up and your children and your grandchildren. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I got some money that needs spending on some expensive trash. So if you excuse me. You're dead. Dead. Yeah, we still have to do zero missions. We kind of avoided it because uh, we needed rockets that we got from previous missions for Lost Venturas, so then it kind of made me just skip all of the uh, zero missions entirely. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Who is it? It's Carl. Carl John. Hey, Carl! Great! Guys, it's Carl! Great! I'm fucking great! Fucking amazing! I got a need for an accountant and a sound engineer, and I thought of you and Paul. Fucking amazing! Paul's great with figures, and I'd make a fucking amazing producer. This is... This is fucking great! It's amazing! Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, man, but look, see you soon. Fucking amazing! That's interesting, though, because I didn't think boats affected uh, the accuracy. I'm pretty sure planes don't, anyway. That's interesting to know that boats do. Save, uh, so, uh, I'll have to do that mission again, of course. It literally checks if it's a bike? Dang, that's crazy. I don't notice a difference with, uh, with planes there. Unless it just resets it back to normal. I guess that would make sense. Cause they definitely don't have the accuracy of being in a car. Yeah, fortunately they can't do that. Hello? Carl, it's Zero. Oh hi, Z. What's up, porn card? Got tons of phone calls, dude. Yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't Dang. worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Actually did a pretty legitimate parking job with that. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. <laughs> Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> My first prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small minds. 
Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity. All batteries commence fire. He's going for my transmitters. If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. <laughs> DJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I guess, uh... Factoring the actual accuracy of each enemy would be kind of hard to factor as well. I didn't really think about that. This really easy mission. I'm kind of afraid that my minigun glitch might go away though. Maybe I should have uh, held the minigun before we started this. Because it could theoretically take my minigun away doing this mission. <laughs> If that happens, we could just restart the mission, I guess. And that'd be another three minutes. Yeah, that is kind of weird just being like, he just has randomly a minigun on top of a, on top of his building. Not sure if it makes more or less sense, the fact that you just purchased this property even. And he already has like a minigun on top of his building. How long would this whole run take? I have no idea. I'm assuming at least like two days. We've lost the transmitter. We can't lose another transmitter. That would be my guess. At least the first run anyway, probably at least like 48 hours. We can't lose another transmitter. Berkeley's going for the last transmitter. You've got to stop those planes, Carl. Uh okay. That's weird. <laughs> Berkeley. As long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Alright, we still have our minigun. Took it away. No, dude. Alright, whatever. We'll do it again. Dang it. Could have just restarted like uh, the beginning, but I was kind of a little bit curious if that was going to happen. But yeah, still the minigun thing is kind of like, kind of weird. 
Shorter than VCS 100%? The hell? How long is VCS 100%? You don't remember. Am I playing on 16 by 10? I don't know, dude. I'm playing on black bars. Like how, uh... Like how you'd normally play this game on PC. Is it stretched? No, it's not stretched. Let's see the resolution. This with black bars. <laughs> there you go. Oh wait, no, I, yeah, you, you asked if I had it stretched on screen. No, I don't have it stretched on screen. Of the black bars hidden. How do you prevent the ammo getting taken away? I'm pretty sure you just uh, walk in the marker with the minigun. I remember Tyrion saying something about there being a mini gl uh, minigun glitch with this as well. I think he said that you just have to walk into the marker with a minigun and it glitches it. I could be wrong though, it was a long time ago since I remember that. So, we'll find out, I guess. But from what I remember hearing, uh, you should be able to walk into the marker with any minigun, walk out with a glitched minigun. We'll find out if uh, that actually happens. <laughs> but I'm assuming if it does work, then uh, it's probably like the photo opportunity camera glitch. It's the same concept. Walking into a marker with the same weapon. They use for the mission. Hopefully it does work anyway, because otherwise we're gonna have to get a lot of uh, minigun ammo for the end of the game. Actually, I tried like scripting an MTA anyway. I can definitely tell you it's kind of weird how bugs come up like that. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three. No, that's not it. What is it? Like this game would, or this mission would obviously like try to remove your minigun. Alright, it doesn't actually work. Unless you have to have like a minigun that's not glitched, I don't know. Well, that's unfortunate. 
At least we tried it. <laughs> hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> then nip some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now, where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow, <clears throat> my crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Oh, <laughs> well, with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Bert. <clears throat> okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Yeah, I played uh, PUBG on this game as well. well we shall hit him where it hurts the A couple most. times. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Launch the Red Baron. This is by far the hardest zero mission. I really don't like this one. Yeah, I mean, like, the minigun ammo isn't that big of a deal, honestly. It would have just been convenient to keep it. But in all honesty, uh, I only needed the minigun glitch for the last heist. Like, the last casino heist, because you have to use a lot of ammo in that mission. I don't think you have to use nearly as much for a uh, end game anyway as you do on that one mission. The only thing that sucks about this mission in particular is trying to kill the guy in the Sanchez. The dude has like insane accuracy. It's been a while since I failed this mission though, so we'll see what happens. I pretty much go for I go for everyone in this area and then I just go straight for the Sanchez. Then I'll go for the last guy because he doesn't have a passenger so you can just blow him up without having to worry about getting blown up. No, the RC plane doesn't have the OHKO thing. Yeah, the RC plane is a vehicle. It's easy? No, I mean like the mission is hard, not like OHKO. It's just hard to like get this guy to die. Fortunately that went really well. This mission is easy. I mean, I don't know. I've really seen many people do this mission though. Maybe it's just me. Take more shots to take out, unless you're shooting like near where what would be the gas tank. <laughs> it only takes like a few shots. Few shots above the tire, kaboom. Now get her back home in one piece before she runs out of fuel.
Oof. Dude. Vehicles do not care on that road at all. Still gotta do trucking aid as well. Which is gonna take us back in Las Venturas, which... Uh... We still have, uh... We still have horseshoes we need to do. We still have five left. We gotta find... We still have, uh, like... Five oysters as well. I don't know, I have the checklist kind of hidden. with destiny good or bad what the hell are you talking about now the hour of judgment is upon me and i must ask myself if i am a sheep or a goat carl will you be my second here are some letters i've left everything to you in case i don't make it please already own it what's wrong with you man we are crossing the rubicon i am to engage in battle with berkeley at stake honor and our very lives I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death. Come hither. Yeah, you bring up a good point. I forgot uh, we still need to do San Fierro gym moves. No man's land. Man, I kind of forgot that. Seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! But yeah, we've only done, uh, Las Venturas so far. I wasn't gonna do San Fierro because I forgot about it, uh, until we did zero missions, which we're on right now. But, uh, then I forgot again. I don't remember how to do this mission. Alright. <clears throat> how do I pick things up? Alright, there we go. Took me a while to figure that out. Ugh, I guess we're doing like casual strats because I'm not in trouble remembering how to do things. Get a plank from our base and make a bridge across that gap. Oh, I drop this now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. We're having trouble just like figuring out the controls even. <laughs> yeah, Zero likes to complain. I don't know if he likes to complain as much as Sweet does, though. That river. Sweet's pretty good at that. Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress. Damn, still got all kinds of barrels.
our last goblin, no! <laughs> Little tiny uh, RC tanks shooting explosives. I think we already got the all the things. Uh, just move these barrels real quick, and then we have to destroy that last tank. Carl, me again. about to say ha <laughs> ha Berkeley you sir are a loser leave the field of battle in shame pack up your crummy mail order business <laughs> and get out of my town Carl you were all a duelist like me could want in a second sir I salute you That is a pretty funny point though. Dropping barrels on uh, real life tanks and they explode. <clears throat> Alright, Zero's missions are officially over. Now we gotta go get Jim Move San Fierro. But before that, we are going to save because that makes sense. And we got every property in uh, San Andreas other than one in Los Santos. Oh, it's raining, no! We have a bike, yes. Two NRGs. 